We all know the saying, curiosity killed the cat. When you look around the house, you may think that everything looks perfectly safe. But cats are like toddlers. They have different views on what could be a toy or a tasty snack. Cats ingest poisonous things or even bite wires. Today, I'm going to mention 10 types of cat hazards in your home to watch out for. Common prescription drugs like Advil, Tylenol, and many other human medications are toxic to our cats. Cats who eat these pills can often develop kidney failure, seizures, liver failure, or heart problems. Cats will often eat pills found lying on the table or dropped on the floor. So as cat owners, we need to be vigilant with our medications. Make sure to put medications in a place inaccessible by our cats in a cleanup after you're done. Timo and Arya are living vacuum cleaners. So I have to be extra careful. There are a number of human foods toxic to cats. While it may be safe for humans, a small nibble can be life-threatening for our fur babies. Foods like garlic and onions destroy red blood cells in cats, while chocolate or caffeine leads to vomiting, diarrhea, and seizures. Alcohol is another thing to keep away from your cat. Because our cats are much smaller than us, a smaller dose of alcohol can prove more dangerous to them. Lastly, xylitol, a sweetener in candy, baked goods, and toothpaste, causes a release of insulin that can lead to liver failure. There are other toxic human foods, but these are the most dangerous ones. A cat's natural urge to chew can leave them gnawing on your electrical cords. Your cat can end up electrocuted, or the damaged wires can pose a fire risk for your home. Kittens tend to have a strong urge to chew, while new teeth are coming in. Unfortunately, Timo and Arya like to chew on my wires. As a result, I use wire protectors like this one to protect all my wires. I like it because it is easy to put on and blends in with the room. I'll link the wire protector in the description below. Timo, you can now bite all you want. Dangling blind cords can be a strangulation hazard. Blind cords are the perfect cat toy and cats love to play with them. Timo and Arya can play with the blind cords all day. Look what happened to my blinds. To reduce the risk of your cat getting hurt, keep the blind cords away by installing cord cleats. You can also get cordless blinds instead. If you enjoyed this video so far, please consider subscribing and hitting that notification bell. We make videos on helping you become the best cat owner, so please join us. Houseplants bring a slice of nature into our homes. And for many people, it is a source of great joy. Unfortunately, there are many plants that are toxic to cats. In minor cases, plants toxic to cats cause a gastro upset or skin irritation. But in serious cases, it can lead to organ failure, seizures, or even death. In this video, I'll focus on the most toxic ones. I'll link a complete list of poisonous plants in the description below. The most toxic plants include lilies, sago palm, oleander, mistletoe, hydrangea. These plants can kill your cat, so it is a good idea not to have them in the house. With any of these severe plants, don't wait for symptoms to appear after your cat ingested it. Take them to the vet immediately with the plant they ate. If you really do love your house plants, you can put your plants in a separate room that your cats have no access to, or hang them in high places so your cats cannot get to them. I personally really love house plants, but I love my cats more, and I don't want to put them at risk. It looks like Timo has destroyed the palm tree. One of the most common life-threatening conditions seen in veterinary practice is a foreign body obstruction. This is when a cat eats an object that gets stuck in the intestinal tract and requires a surgical removal of the blocked object 
or else the cat may die. Everyday items that are particularly dangerous include rubber bands, floss, yarn, hair ties, ribbons, and tinsel. You may notice a pattern. String-like objects are particularly dangerous because strings can wrap around the tongue or the bottom of the stomach and pull on the intestinal tract like a drawbridge and squeeze the intestinal tract into a knot that may kill the cat. Lastly, watch out for cheap cat toys. Some of the pieces, like the eyes, can be ripped off by the cat and ingested. Timo once ripped a feather off a toy and ate it. Luckily, he pooped it out. From then on, I put the cat toys away when I'm not supervising them and purchased higher quality toys like this one. Toys that my cats could not destroy. Many household chemicals pose a danger to our cats. One of the most dangerous chemicals is antifreeze, which often contains ethylene glycol or methanol that is toxic to cats. Cats find antifreeze sweet tasting and ingesting just a small amount can lead to kidney failure and death. It can be found in the coolant reservoir in the car, air conditioning systems, and de-icing fluids. Garden products like fertilizers and pesticides are also dangerous for a cat, so keep them tucked away. Rat poison is also not great for your cat. Not only from ingesting the poison themselves, but eating a rat that ate the rat poison. If you have a pest problem, try to use non-toxic ways to get rid of them. Cleaning solutions like alcohol, bleach, and hydrogen peroxide are also toxic to cats. To protect your cats, you can keep your cats away till it is dry or use pet-friendly cleaning solutions like this one that don't contain any of those harmful chemicals. Cats are known to always land on their feet. While it may be true that they are great gymnasts, they may be injured from a big fall. If your home has a balcony or windows of great height, you will want to secure them. Make sure window screens are secure so your cats can't push it open. For a balcony, you want to completely fence any opening with wire mesh, kind of like a catio. If that is not possible, then keep your cat off the balcony. Our cats can sometimes get stuck in weird places, such as the refrigerator. Aria, what are you doing in the refrigerator? or the dishwasher, or even inside the couch. Make sure to keep those areas secure. They may just jump in without you looking, especially if it is a kitten. If you live in an earthquake zone like myself, having earthquake straps or fasteners can prevent bookshelves or other furniture from falling on your cat. For items on shelves, you can add Velcro or museum putty to secure them in place. Cats can sometimes end up inside the sofa. A cat getting inside a recliner chair is very dangerous. If a kitten happens to be in there, the recliner chair can crush it to death if it is used. So seal up the holes in your sofa and recliner chairs to keep your kitty safe. Sometimes cats can burn themselves by jumping on your stove while it is still hot. A solution I have come up with is after you're done cooking, fill a pot with cold water and place it on the hot stove. The cold water will absorb the heat and cool the stove down faster. In addition, the pot will cover the hot stove and prevent your cat from jumping on it. Aria once jumped into my frying pan, but luckily I had not turned on the stove yet. Now I am more careful when I cook and keep my cats away from the kitchen. Another way a cat can burn themselves is the heater. My apartment doesn't have the best heating, so I had to buy several space heaters to keep the unit warm. Radiator heaters like this one and a Dyson heater here are built to be pet safe. You can touch the heater without getting burnt. Another danger is candles. A cat may not just get a burn, but may knock a candle over and cause a fire in your home. So keep them away from your cat. Grocery or shopping bags can cause a choking hazard for your cat. As a cat wrestles with a bag, the handles can easily get wrapped around their neck. A real suffocation hazard. Plastic bags are particularly dangerous, as cats can tear the plastic bag and eat small pieces of plastic that can cause intestinal blockage. So keep the bags away from your cat. I hope these tips will keep your cat living a long and healthy life.
If you thought this video was helpful, give it a like. Comment down below if you have any other tips that can help keep your cat safe.